Let's consider the second method. Under the second method, policy premium is treated as an asset and policy is shown at surrender value. What does that mean? When we pay the premium, on payment of the premium, joint life policy account debit to bank. Joint life policy, not an expense, but an asset called joint life policy account. But now the premium has been paid. We have debited an asset called joint life policy account. Say in our example, suppose we had paid an amount of 10,000. Can we show this asset of joint life policy at 10,000? No, because if we surrender this policy in year one, the surrender value is nil. We get nothing from the insurance company. So it would not be right to say joint life policy account debit 10,000. We cannot show the asset in the balance sheet at 10,000. So what do we do is at the end of each year, we see what is the surrender value and try to show the joint life policy only at the surrender value. Any excess amount, excess of the premium is transferred to profit and loss account. So what is the entry profit and loss account debit with the balance in the policy account, in this case 10,000 minus the surrender value 10,000 minus surrender value in the first year in our example it was 0 minus 0 therefore the entire 10,000 in the first year would go to profit and loss account but in year 2 there will be some value in year 3 there will be a higher value and so on and so forth <clears throat> but joint life policy will be maintained at the surrender value of the asset on maturity or surrender of the policy on maturity or surrender of the policy, what happens? Money comes in. So, bank account debit or insurance company account debit to joint life policy to all partners capital account. Bank account debit with the amount received to joint life policy account with book value, with what is there in the books. And the difference goes to the partners capital accounts in the old profit sharing ratio in the old profit sharing ratio let us take an example a b and c share profits and losses in the ratio 2 is to 2 is to 1 they took a joint life policy again it's the same problem 60,000 4,000 is paid annually the surrender value nil 1,000 2,000 and 3,000 C retires in April of year 5. Prepare ledger accounts assuming joint life policy account is maintained on surrender value. So let us look at this solution. The first year we pay joint life policy account debit to bank 4000. What was the surrender value? The surrender value was 0. Therefore we cannot have any balance in this account. By profit and loss account 4000 and this account is closed. No balance in this account. Year 2 again to bank 4000. In year 2 there is a balance. The surrender value of the policy. Surrender value of the policy was 1000. So we can retain 1000. Remaining 3000. 3000 is 4000 minus what we can retain. 3000 is sent to profit and loss account. Balance of 1000 is shown here. Next year we bring down this balance of 1000. We pay a premium of 4000. We have a total of 5000 in the joint life policy account. But our surrender value is only 2000. It's only 2000. That means an excess of 3000 has to be written off to profit and loss account. So in year 1, there is no balance in the joint life policy account because surrender value is nil. In the second year, we have a balance of 1000 because surrender value of the policy was 1000. In year 3, we have a value of 2000 because surrender value was 2000. Again, 2000 is brought down. You pay 4000. We have 6. We have a total of 6000. <coughs> But our surrender value is 3000. So again 3000 is written off to profit and loss account. Fourth year 3000 is brought down and we received 
3000 which is the surrender value and this account is simply closed <coughs> and the account is closed let us look at this problem balances of x y and z stood at 10 lakh 15 lakh and z 10 lakh joint life policy 3 lakh 50000 Y decided to retire from the firm and the remaining partners decided to carry on with the future profit sharing ratio of 3 is to 2. Joint life policy of the partners surrendered and cash obtained is 3,50,000. What would be the treatment for JLP account? It is a joint life policy. Yeah, joint life policy is the surrender value. Joint life policy is shown at the surrender value of 3,50,000. Balances of X, Y, Z and joint life policy. Now Y is retiring from the firm. Joint life policy is surrendered. Cash obtained this thing. So what would be our entry? Cash account debit to joint life policy account 3,50,000. So 350 will be credited to partner's capital account in new ratio, 350 credited to partner's capital account in old ratio, 350 credited to partner's capital account in capital ratio. No, 350,000 will be simply credited to the joint life policy account. Joint life policy account. 